My name is Arnon Roseanne and I'm president and CEO of Garrison Flood Control. Today, I'm here to talk to you about our Hammerhead Flood Lag System, which is the premier flood lag system available on the market today. Garrison's Hammerhead System is a durable flood lag system that can be used in a variety of applications. We've used them to protect schools, warehouses, large condo developments, uh, individual high-end homeowners, properties. It's a pretty versatile system because it's cut to size. So you tell us what your opening size is, send us a photograph of your opening so we can determine whether we're using an inside mount or an outside mount post. And then we fabricate it custom to your needs. What's unique about the Hammerhead system is it's available in both an inside mount and an outside mount post system. So if we look at this post over here, this is an inside mount post meant to sit on the inside of the threshold of your door or garage or bay door opening like that. As you can see, there are holes pre-drilled here that are meant to receive a series of masonry anchor bolts that we provide to you. Now this enables these to be installed permanently. However, you do have the option of installing these temporarily using what we call a drop-in anchor bolt, which is this bolt over here. This sleeve remains in the concrete or in your threshold, and then you remove this screw and bolt it in when you need to. Some other features of the Hammerhead that's unique is that we have a foam backing. It's a neoprene seal that when you attach this to your threshold, it will press against your threshold and create a seal. Now we always recommend a little bit of caulking as a secondary uh, precaution, but this foam on its own, this, this EPDM neoprene, will get you a great seal against your surface. Now, in the inside of the channel of every hammerhead post are two really unique features to us here at Garrison. One is a neoprene seal that you press your flood logs or flood planks in against using a series of bolts. Now these bolts are easily tightened with an Allen wrench. We provide you with the Allen wrench at the time of purchase. And these tighten down to shift a small tensioning plate that actually presses against your planks, pushes against the neoprene for a great seal. We have a top cap that, that's part of every post. This top cap slides in. You're gonna to wanna to loosen that before you install it. And then this gets tightened down to press the flood logs against each other and to create a seal between them. In addition to the inside mount post, we have an outside mount post that mounts to the outside of your opening or threshold. This is quite common on the outside of masonry buildings or for garage doors where you have a flat surface on the exterior. As you can see, the outside mount post mounts differently. While the inside mount post had holes drilled here, the outside mount post has a series of L brackets. These L brackets are designed to fasten against the wall and get tension using the same masonry bolts as we use on the inside post or the drop-in anchor bolts, which have enabled it to be removable. Now, if you look at the backside or the surface that touches the wall, this also has an EPDM or neoprene seal, which creates a seal against the wall when it's tightened down using the bolts. Now this outside mount post, again, has a neoprene seal on the inside and also the tensioning plate that gets tightened down using an Allen wrench. For longer runs of Hammerhead, we recommend using a center post. The center post allows you to insert flood logs on either side, side one and side two. Both sides have tensioning plates on the top, a cap, both have plates to push the flood logs against the neoprene seal. And these are designed to attach using a base plate to the ground. Now there are two ways we can connect this to the ground. One is permanently and the other is temporarily. If you do decide to mount it temporarily, we again use a drop in anchor bolt and leave the sleeve in the concrete, or we have a stainless steel base plate that you actually cut into your cement surface or epoxy surface, and you leave it there permanently, allowing you to attach the post to that base plate. The Hammerhead stainless steel base plate is designed to be placed into the cement 
and cemented into position. This provides additional support for your center post. It includes a series of removable L-shaped bolts that are designed to get a better hold within the poured concrete. And at the top, you have a series of removable bolts that are designed to bolt the base of the center post into the base plate. And these simply get removed and stored. And when you're ready to install your flood plank system, you drop the post on and you tighten it down. If you notice, the center post has a series of bolts midway through the post height. And this is designed to receive a kicker post. Now this kicker provides additional support and is faced outwards towards the oncoming water. It is screwed to your center post and this enables you to get additional strength uh, for wave action and oncoming tides. Typically, we recommend the center post when we get to wider than 10 foot openings that are greater than about four foot in height. So that helps us distribute the weight and gives us a little bit more stability against oncoming hydrostatic pressure. There are three different types of planks. One is the bottom plank. And if you notice, the bottom plank has a thicker neoprene seal, which is designed to get a good grip on somewhat uneven surfaces. It's both thicker and wider, which provides a significantly better seal than other competitor systems. The middle plank or middle flood log also has a series of seals. But if you notice, there's a tongue and groove design and these slot into each other and get sealed when they're pressured down by the top cap. The final flood log type is the top flood log. Now this is really optional, but we typically provide a safety tape on the top plank just to help remind people that the system's in place and they need to exercise caution. There are times when you need to do a 90 degree angle. And in those cases, we have our 90 degree posts, which consists of two regular posts that are fused together with a neoprene seal to prevent leakage. This gets placed in the corner, and then you have a series of planks going in one direction and the other direction back to the wall. The hammerhead flood log system utilizes a 6063 T5 aluminum, which is fairly common in architectural and some structural applications. We've run the hammerhead system through extensive FEA or finite element analysis testing to confirm its capability to handle incoming and rising water and the hydrostatic pressures associated with it. 